my foundation that you guys picked looks way too dark for me as well. So I'm like low key panicking. <laughs> Today I am doing a Instagram live requests or picks my makeup video. Yesterday I went live on Instagram and went through every single drawer of makeup that I have and my followers picked out what they wanted me to use in today's look all the way down to like the eyeshadow colors so I'm really nervous basically we are doing something purple and green which I'm thinking like you know if you do one eye each color that would look dope but I kind of want to challenge myself and like mix them together on the eye so we're gonna do our best job we've got everything here primer foundation all the way from lashes eyeshadow mascara setting spray everything so this is what you guys want to see on my face and if you like this let me know because i would like to do another one except do it where my followers send me videos requesting so your guys pretty little faces can be in my video as well let me know if you want to see that thumbs up if you like this idea and without further ado let's begin okay it's working yay what kind of primer are we using do we want something like you know, matte, glowy, pore filling. I'm seeing Toucher a couple of times. Silk canvas. We're doing this and a glowy one. Let's do two. So we'll do the Toucher for like some pore filming. Filming? Filling? Dior? Dior? Okay, I saw two Dior's in a row. We're gonna go Dior. Toucher Silk Canvas. Got the Dior Backstage Face and Body Glow in 001 Universal. So I'm gonna start with the Toucher one and just go where I need it. This is kind of like a pore filling primer, smoothing. I'm just kind of like putting that around my nose, like where I've got bigger pores. Kind of the T-zone really. Just spread that out with my fingertips. I've already obviously cleansed and moisturized today, so... It's just gonna spread out nicely over any texture. My foundation that you guys picked looks way too dark for me as well, so I'm like low key panicking. <laughs> so, we're gonna put on the glowing primer next, straight on top. I haven't used this in ages. I feel like I barely used it like when I first got it. So, when I did my declutter, I did keep it because I wanted to like keep trying it out. This can be used on the body as well, so I'm just massaging that basically everywhere on my face just to give it a glow. Makes my skin look so pretty. You could wear this alone or under makeup, mixed into your foundation, or even um, like on top. I might even mix it into my foundation today, just because I don't think I've tried that yet with this product. Let's pop some on my chest as well. Like why not? Oh my god, it's so pretty on the body. It's just like low-key awkward to get your own shoulders. There we go. By the way, this top is from Wish. I'll link the video down below where I am. Um, Tried it on for the first time. What kind of concealer? Shape tape, we've got my Nabla, we've got the Urban Decay one, we've got Born This Way, Pretty Fresh by Colourpop, Studio Fix, Chi Chi, CoverGirl. Okay, I've seen a couple of Born This Ways. Before we do foundation, I'm just gonna go around my eyebrows. I'm gonna use my Born This Way Natural Beige. Do two colors of this one. So this one's gonna be used around the brows and I need it on my face, but I probably won't because the foundation we're using today is full coverage. I have just covered up some pimples though. Maybe some bits on my chest too. Yes, my eyebrow brush, or not eyebrow, but the concealer brush I'm using is dyed green. I think from my poison ivy look for Halloween last year. <laughs> and even when I do this right now, my eyebrows don't look that good because I don't have like a tint or a wax or anything, but I mean, I need all the help I can get. I'm using my sponge to blend it out on my chest. Yes, it's too dark, okay. What kind of foundation are we feeling today, guys? What do we have here? We've got like Natasha Denona, CoverGirl, YSL, Cosmetics, or YSL. We've got my favorite, NARS, Tarte, Too Faced, Born This Way. I'm just gonna read the comments and go for one of the most requested ones. Seeing a couple of Clinique. Well, I've got Clinique Fit makeup or I've got the beyond perfecting okay we'll go beyond perfecting yeah foundation mm -hmm. this is not gonna match me my fake tan is like gone 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 so we've got the beyond perfecting by Clinique two-in-one foundation and concealer in the shade sesame so I mean we'll just paint some on oh, I feel like I'm like low-key starting right out of this Sloop. that noise Anti ASMR. I'm gonna pour some of this on top because we're gonna mix it. And then I've got my sponge and I'm just going to pat this all over my face, neck, and probably chest because it doesn't match. All right, straight away I can tell you that mixing the Dior product into this was a great idea because it looks beautiful. This foundation's usually quite matte. This gives it that kind of like, ouch, just ouch, ouch, what is wrong with me? Ew. It's like, look my ear with my earring. 
What the heck? Okay, anyways, this gives it like a very like silky finish, I would say. I feel like I should like go put on a turtleneck right now. <laughs> Cause no. Literally colouring in my body. Don't forget the ear. And then we've got the shade Swan Under the Eyes. I'm not using too too much, three dots, and just applying that up towards my temple. And then right in underneath to try and brighten. Oh my god, I'm so sorry if you can hear my stomach, it's making some crazy noises. Alright, so the skin is actually looking really pretty. Huge fan of the Dior mixed in. I think that was such a good choice. So thank you for the people that voted for that. We've got KKW, Bare Minerals, we've got Loose Powder. That's pretty much it. Which one? KKW? Done. I'm going straight in for my under eye powder. This is the KKW Brighton. I love this stuff. Just applying that kind of where I conceal just to set it so it doesn't crease and it also helps to like brighten some more and kind of color correct because it's very peachy powder. You can tell I've done lots of declutters lately. These drawers are so tidy compared to normal. All right, which pressed powder? So we've got Studio Fix, Nabla, Cosmetics Born This Way. Um, we have Australis, we've got CoverGirl, Charlotte Tilbury, Urban Decay. I bought the new, um, a replacement one. All right, I think Charlotte's winning. There we go. Oh, look, it's me. We have the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Finish Airbrush Powder. I'm gonna take this with a powder brush and just set all over. Far out, this is so pretty. I always forget how nice this is. I don't know why I don't use it regularly. Very, very matte now, but luckily we do have a lot of glowy products to put on next. My skin still doesn't look too dry. I think because of the Dior underneath. Looks nice. Contour, so we've got, let's just do either Charlotte Tilbury for contour, Nabla for contour, Tarte for contour, or MAC for contour. I'll just wait a few seconds for you guys to catch up. Charlotte, Charlotte, MAC, MAC, Charlotte and MAC are winning. I think Charlotte's got three, MAC's got two. Any last words, guys? All right, Charlotte Tilbury. I'm just going to whip on my contour and my bronzer, and then I'll probably save blush and highlight for later. So I'm using a domed contour brush. This used to be my holy grail, like you know, a couple years ago. And I still love it so much. Works so good. I need some extra help at the moment, especially right here. Do you know something I love watching are the little makeup tutorials on Charlotte Tilbury's Instagram. Something about them that's just so satisfying. And then for bronzer, Too Faced, Tarte, Hourglass, Mecca, Benefit, Givenchy, Maybelline, Tom Ford. <laughs> I'm glad you're finding this fun. <laughs> You guys are helping me a lot here. Hula? Ooh, okay. I haven't used Hula in ages. Hula caramel or just regular Hula? I feel like this is so delayed. I'm sorry if I'm like talking and it seems irrelevant. Caramel? I like never put this down a few months ago, especially because I was so obsessed, still am, but with that bronze cheerleaders palette. So I'm so excited. So excited to put this on. This one always looks crazy when you first put it on, but it just blends so easily. I'm just using a medium face brush. I'm like loving how like beautiful my base is looking right now. I'm just thinking forward to the eyeshadow. Like wait till you guys see the colors. <sighs> I'm literally just like, wow. I could like stop here and just do like winged eyeliner and be good to go. And that would be so pretty just for like day to day makeup. But no, we're going crazy. Just you guys wait, just you wait. Can we just do our brows quickly because I feel funky. Right, benefit zings. Bit of it. Okay. Bit of it. Which brown mascara we've got? Bobby Brown, we've got Australis, we've got Urban Decay, we've got Milani, we've got Mac, we've got Gimme Brow. Okay, benefit, benefit, Bobby, Bobby. Benefit and Bobby are winning. Mac. Mac. Oh now Mac's up there. I feel like I've been wearing Bobby Brown religiously lately. So I haven't worn my Gimme Brow in ages. I feel like it's actually dried out. Should we go Mac? Then browsings. We've got our eyebrow groomer brush. So I'm just going to brush my hairs and then just take a mixture of both colors. This is the shade three. Pretty sure it's discontinued now, but they do sell like a bigger powder palette. I'm trying to go a little bit like light handed ish because I don't want my brows to look too crazy crazy. Brow set. Brow set, Mac. Brow set. Big aisle. Love this color. I feel like my brows are not on point. But it's just the way it is. We didn't actually pick an eye primer together, but I'm just gonna go in with my P. Louise base to prep. Oh shit. Well, just to prep my eyes for this beautiful makeup we're about to do. I'm using my dual petal brush. This does come separately. Now, 
because you guys requested the absolute shit out of that. So pretty sure we've still got some available. Get in quick though. Next up, we've got the eyeshadow. This is supposed to be neutral palettes. Oh my God. This is my next declutter, you guys. Are you excited? People are saying colorful. I'm so excited to declutter this. <laughs> okay, I'm, I just used this in my latest video. So I'm not going to use this one, even though I've just seen someone request it. Good choice though, because this palette is bomb. What color? What kind of colors? We've got like Natasha Denona palettes. We've got some BH Cosmetics, Huda. I've done so many colorful looks lately. So like, what do you guys think? Neon green or purple? This could be fun if you guys want green. This is like purple. If we did this palette for green, which kind of green vibe? We can mix together green and purple. We can give it a go, okay? So if we did one of them, because everyone's saying purple or green. <laughs> so let's try to challenge me and try to make something pretty out of green and purple, which I feel like is not going to work. B3, B3. A lot of B3s. E3, B3. Okay, so E3 and B3. Yeah, I feel like these purples aren't going to look good, but can I just see if we have like one other kind of purpley palette? We could do these purples. Which one? Novena? You guys are saying Novena purples. All right, you guys choose. Okay, so I mean, which kind of purples? So we've got B3, E3, A2. Pink would be cool. Wait, honestly, like, this is so pretty, look. I feel like we've got what we need. A1, A2, A5, B3, E3, <laughs> B4. You know what? <laughs> we'll just, like, roll with it. I'm just going to play with those kind of colors. It's all on here. It's all on film. So I'll just have a play. Let's dive in. All right. So I feel like we're going to do a gradient effect of some kind. I feel like that's going to be, I guess, one of the easier ways to kind of incorporate these main colors you guys have chosen. I'm really nervous. So I think I'll start with A5, which is this one in the corner right here. And I probably should have done my eye makeup before I even started everything else. I'm going to pop A5 kind of on the outer corner and also wing it into the outer part of my crease. Something like this. <laughs> so far, so good. Next shades, A1 and A2. We're gonna take A2 on the same brush. And I'm going to pop that like this, most of the way across. This is a slim crease brush, by the way. It's like a little crease blender brush. Kind of like using the brush to tap it and do tiny little motions. Just gonna blend those together. We haven't even started with the green yet. All right, next up we've got B3 and B1, which are this shade as well as this one. What I think I'm gonna do is apply this on the inner kind of crease. I'm just going to take a little tiny bit more base. Oh God, I'm really nervous for this. Oh my God, what the heck is going to happen here? I'm going to take a crease shadow brush. I'm gonna take B1 first, which is the shimmery lime green. I think I'm gonna pop that on the lid. Honestly, you guys, I don't know why you've done this to me. Who the hell started that live stream going green and purple? Green and purple, because then everyone joined in. Yeah, you really can't see the shimmer, um, but that's okay. And then I'm going to use the same brush, but flip it and use B3, which is a little bit more bluer undertone, slightly a little slight bit darker, but I mean, you're gonna see they're gonna look very similar. I'm gonna put this on most of the rest of the inner part, apart from the very inner part. And this is a dense shadow brush. I'm not hating it. We're going to go in with a short shadow brush with A1. This one was requested quite a bit. A1 right here. Right on the inner part. Kind of blending it near the green and popping it right on the inner corner. Don't know if this is going to work out how I want it to. But just doing real short kind of like motions to blend that just on top of the green. This side's coming out okay. I feel like we're gonna have to do some kind of like blue or something to blend across. Maybe a little bit of E3, just a tiny amount. And then I'm hoping we can blend purple into this. I'm going to go in with a little bit of maybe B4. No one chose this one, but I just need something to kind of bring this together, I guess. Maybe I'll use a little pencil brush. Actually, I will use a crease detail brush. Okay, that helped a lot. Now I'm gonna go back in with the brush we used some purple on, and I'm gonna add a little bit more, so A2, and just make sure that it's kind of blended there. And then I'm really gonna load up my brush with A5, the very first pink we used, and just make that way more vivid now. I love how someone had to throw a spanner in the works and request A5 as well. Like. Just making sure to blend that quite well as well. And then I can go back in with the other blender brush with the purple. I'm gonna add some 
with the pink on it and just soften the edges. I'm gonna take a little bit of A3, this lime kind of color on my finger and I'm just going to pop that like on the ball of my eyelid just because it looks cool. And we're already here, so I mean, we may as well just like keep going. We do have glitter. No glitter? Yes, yes, no. We want glitter? No glitter. Yes to glitter. Okay, glitter's winning. All right, so for black, we've got, we've just got like a black glitter. I feel like this is gonna be a hot mess. Lilac glitter, that could also be a point. I'm gonna put this in the box and I'll just pick whatever works the best because a couple of people did say they liked the black idea. Um, okay, which purple? The size is just how chunky they are. Like the size number four you can see is a bit bigger. Size number three is a little bit finer. You can see the different colors too. Angel eyes, done. We've got black glitter or pinky purpley glitter. I think we're gonna go purpley though. Needless to say, because I feel like black glitter is just gonna be like too hectic. Just using my brush that I used to spread out my primer just to sharpen up the eyeshadow, but without being too sharp. You know, like I'm not going with fresh product. Just using what's on there just to like scoop it up. So I'm running the pink just under here. And then I'm actually going to take my bronzer again and I'm going to use a small brush. Hopefully this one's moderately clean. I'm going to use the bronzer. Oh, what is happening? On the rest and also kind of where I put the pink just to define my eye. Okay, now before I do the glitter, let's do eyeliner. I guess we could pick a black eyeliner. That's probably safe. We've got the Anastasia liquid liner, roller liner, Tarte, the Balm, Anastasia Beverly Hills. All right, done. I remember really liking this, but I feel like once I tried it in my first impression, I haven't really used it much again. All right, pray for me. I'm gonna try and do a wing. Shit. Of course I would do that. And he doesn't want to come off. I can't even really like cover that green properly. Lashes. XO, XO, XO. You guys are cute. <laughs> Which style from XO Beauty? Do you want, oops, I just smashed my nail. Do you want like party stack or should we do like foam ink? I'm gonna grab out three random ones. Fantasy or Cupid or Panther. I feel like Panther's winning. Lashes, you guys were so cute. We've got Panther. Oh wait, I forgot mascara. Okay, so before we do that, let's do our mascara. I think you can see them for yourself for the most part. You guys want a drugstore one? We've got the Wonderlux by Rimmel for a drugstore option here. Or the Chi Chi one's a drugstore option. All right, a couple Chi Chi's. Done and dusted. This is one of my favorite mascaras. I mean, most of these are. The look's coming together. Wait, where did my lash go now? Oh no, oh no. This always happens. If you're wondering, no. I never found it again. I don't know where it is. I just looked for five minutes. I'll probably find it tomorrow or something, I'm hoping. But I've had to open a whole new packet. These lashes are bomb. I haven't actually worn this style in a while. They're super, super cat eye. How did we do? I mean, blending could be better, but I mean, I'm pretty happy with it. Wasn't an easy task, those colors, but here we are. Next up, blush. We've got liquid, sorry for the sniffs. Or we've got powders. A couple NARS, okay. So we've got the old NARS or we've got the jewels. We've got, look at the condensation. This is why I have those little bags. It's like freezing in New Zealand, even though it's sunny. We've got frenzy, we've got panic, and then we've got fervor. Don't know if I said that right. Panic, panic. Wait, which one was panic? Frenzy, panic, panic's the middle one. First, first, first. Quite a few firsts. Oh God, it's quite even. All right, I'm gonna go second. So panic, we'll go with this one. Which one do we do? I feel like I might even mix them together, mostly using the pinkier color, but adding a little bit of the other one just to like make it a little bit more wearable. And it's this like stunning burnt kind of peachy pink color. Oh my God, that looks so good with the bronzer. So pretty, I probably put on too much, but hopefully once we do highlight it, it'll tone it down anyway. I have not forgotten glitter. I'm gonna use this Q-tip I've got sitting here. Just add. A tiny amount of glitter on my inner corner. Honestly, I don't think the look needs it, but it's what the people want. I feel like a cartoon character. <laughs> Before we do highlighter, I'm going to do my setting spray just to give, you know, my skin a kind of glossy finish so that the highlighter goes on more intense. Thanks guys. All right, and which setting spray? You sent me in the packaging, hey. Becca, okay. What's that one? This one. I can't remember. Obviously, I like it, eh? Because, like, I've used quite a bit of it, but I can't remember. I feel like I used it for, like, a few videos in a row, and then I, like, forgot about it. So, 
good choice. So we've got the Becca Skin Love Glow Shield Prime and Set Mist. Looks really good. Not a huge fan of the scent. It's kind of like watermelony or something, but it feels amazing. Highlighter. Oh my gosh, I love this drawer. I wore this one the other night. It looked so stunning. The Pixie by Petra. I love that. Um, so what brand are you thinking? We've got Maybelline. Okay. Fenty, Fenty, Kylie. Fenty, Fenty, Fenty. Oh, okay. Fenty's winning by landslide right now. Lightning Dust and Fire Crystal. And then we have... Me Money Hustler Baby. Which one? Oh, you guys saying EXO, you're cute. <laughs> third, third, second. Okay, it's even. Third. Okay, third's one. Which is the Hustler Baby Me Money. I think I'm gonna go in with the more intense one for the most part, which is called a Hustler Baby, I think. That goes so good with the um bronzer. Wow, like perfect. And the blush. Those honestly would look so dope with just like a really simple eye look. I mean, they actually look cool, as is as well. Then I'm gonna take the more matte side, Mean Money, and just put that like down at the center of my nose to highlight that. A little on the chin, Cupid's bow, and above at the eyebrow. I'm gonna add a little bit of the shimmery one right on the tip of my nose, the tip of the chin, and the tip you know, of the Cupid's bow, just to bring it all together. Lipstick. I'm just watching the comments, okay. Balance my phone, it's probably gonna fall off. I'm gonna grab some nudes from what you've just said and we will choose two, four, five, one, <laughs> one. Okay, I feel like every single one's been mentioned once. Who does been mentioned twice for number four? Three times for number four. Okay, four's winning. So this one right here, which is called Staycation. Usually I'll use lip pencil, but I might just put it on and see how it goes. Such a pretty nude. And I think perfect with this eye makeup. Okay. You guys have done something here. Oh, that's on my tooth. This is the first time I've worn lipstick with no lip pencil in the longest time. I think that's a great lip color for the eyes. It just lets the eyes do all of the talking, but we are going to intensify it a little bit with gloss. Those are mostly liquid lipsticks. So for glosses I do have, let's just do like something top coaty maybe. So I've got the Huda ones or maquillage ones, which I love, or we've got House, maybe Colourpop. Which one? So we've got Huda, or maquillage, Colourpop, or House Labs. Okay, most people are saying Huda. So, I mean, I think one's more pinky and then one's more like golden or something. This is so funny because it's so delayed. All right, gold, pink, pink, gold, <laughs> pink. Pink. Pink's winning. So we'll go the pinkier one. This color, Charmed. Oh yeah, that's cool. It's so hard to see on camera, but it actually has like a little reflect to it. You know what? I like how it came out. I really do. I'm annoyed that I got that stuff on my eyelid a little bit, but I couldn't get it off. My hair's like too shiny and silky right now. It looks so flat. I really need something volumizing in it, but hey. Shush it up. Do you guys like the look we created together? Did I do a good job? Did I do the colors you chose justice? Like I said, I definitely could do better with the blending and stuff, but we all know I'm not like a beast at blending. So for me, I feel like it looks pretty good. And the glitter on the inner corner actually does look really cute. It's such a nice glitter, like such a nice little color. Let me zoom you in. Here's a closer look at the skin, bronzer, contour, lips. Eye makeup, that blush is so pretty. And all the eyeshadow colors themselves are really nice too. I love that shimmery lime green. Okay, I feel like a bird, bird of paradise. Glowy AF skin. I mean, it would be better if it actually matched me, but we made it work. If you had fun watching my video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Let me know if I should do another one of these and I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye. Bye.